good morning students today we will see cell division you all know that there are two types of cell division mitosis and meiosis the cell division which occur in somatic cells it is called as a mitosis which we learn in our last lesson lecture last lecture today we are going to see second type of the cell division that is meiosis which takes place in germ cells that is in reproductive parts and it gives the ovum and sperm as we all know that meiosis takes place in two stages meiosis first and meiosis second in meiosis first there are four stages prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase they are denoted as prophase first metaphase first anaphase first and telophase first prophase first contain five stages these five stages are depending on the activity of the chromosome actually prophase first of meiosis is much long, longer phase of the meiosis it is subdivided into five sub stages namely leptotene zygotene pachytene diplotene and dikinesis first leptotene initially the chromosome starts condensation and they become compact during leptotene second is zygotene in zygotene homologous chromosome start pairing this pairing is called synapsis this structure called synoptinomal synoptinomal complex develop to hold chromosomes in place during the pairing each chromosomes chromatid are a uh, chromatid arm divides and forms structure structure called bivalent or tetrads homologous means the chromosome which are exactly similar to the other that means they are similar in size similar in shape similar in the uh, genetic material which is present in on the both the chromosome number 3 is the pachytene during pachytene stage crossing over of non sister chromatids of homologous chromosome takes place genetic recombination is produced due to such exchange the homologous chromosomes still remain paired together at the site of crossing over four stages diplotene actually diplo means getting double during diploting synoptinomal complex discover di dissolves and the homologous chromosomes of bivalents separates except at the point of the crossing over thus it look like x shaped structure called the chiasmata fifth stage is dikinesis the last phase of the prophase is for termination of chiasmata the spindle fibers originate and the crossover homologous chromosomes are now separated the nucleus disappears and nuclear membrane that is nuclear envelope also break down in metaphase first chromosome get arranged in the equator of the cell in uh, anaphase first the two chromosomes of each get separate and move to the opposite ends of the cell the sister chromatids are attached to each other telophase first the nuclear membrane reappears it followed by cytokinesis this gives rise 
a diet of cells that means meiosis is completed through the two stages those two stages is two stages are meiosis first and meiosis second in meiosis first recombination and crossing over occur between homologous chromosomes and thereafter those homologous chromosomes are divided into two groups and thus the thus two haploid cells are formed now pro meiosis second second part is that meiosis second in this meiosis second here also prophase 2 metaphase 2 anaphase 2 and telophase 2 in prophase 2 again meiosis 2 is just like mitosis in this stage the two haploid daughter cells are formed in meiosis first undergo division by separation of recombined sister chromatids and four haploid daughter cells are formed process of gamete production and spore formation occurred by this meiosis in this type of cell division four haploid daughter cells are formed from one diploid cell during this cell division crossing over occur between homologous chromosomes and thereby genetic recombination occurs due to this all the four daughter cells are genetically different from parent cell and from each 